chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Environment, Science and Technology, Dr. Emmanuel Marfo, has attributed the many infractions happening in mining sites across the country on weak compliance to environmental safety standards. He also observes a key deficiency in public sector management is a lack of coordination and collaboration between state agencies mandated to execute policies programs and laws for the welfare of society. Dr. Marfo made his assertion when he and other committee members visited the Anto Aboso explosion site in Shama to experience at first hand the happenings in the area which led to the explosion which claimed five lives. Assembly member for Obinakrom, Emmanuel Owu Ewe, narrated the incident to the committee. He was bitter about the continuous and deliberate negligence of quarry companies in the Shama district to safety standards. My place is surrounded by my eight quarries. So when I see an operation of a new quarry going around, I just inform them I've seen something here. So the right is a good to mineral country because they are in charge of that. So when I informed the mineral company, that's where they came to ask them to halt the operation. So when they halted the operation, about four or five months, all that I saw was that they were transporting material from a quarry somewhere about 1.5 kilometers from here. And then they would bring it here to crush. But they were not blasting. Until I heard one blast, then I came around and asked the gentleman in charge and said, oh, they are doing a test blast. And that uh, they've gone to mineral commission everything. I had a problem with the gentleman because I requested for their certificate for me to have a look at it. And lo and behold, he said they have done everything. The issue we have here is that there are a lot of quarries working. Going through EPA and Mineral Commission to acquire permit within the region, it is, it, is, it is something that is not in their books. You are here, they will come from Accra with a permit. Sometimes there is an activity going on, you go make attempt of hurting them. And somebody will call you, allow them to work. The chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Environment, Dr. Emmanuel Marfo, was surprised to learn that there is no EPA official in the Shama district. The DCE Assembly member and the MP were invited to Parliament to help them understand what actually happened. Uh, we decided to come around and to have a look for ourselves and investigate and see what caused the problem and whether there was some um, negligence on the part of environmental inspectors or whether the environmental safety standards that should accompany operations like this were observed or uh, were neglected. So we came and that we have seen for ourselves, we've heard for ourselves. And so we, we are of the view that the issues are too many, uh, some borders on the legality, the registration of the company operating, some borders on uh, the performance of the relevant state agencies and whether they are doing their work as required by law or not. So we, we, have, we have the view that this is an issue that we as a committee on environment will need to invite the stakeholders involved and, and, and interrogate the matters further. Dr. Marfo was unhappy about the manner illegal activities are gradually becoming a norm in the area. He was concerned about the lack of compliance to environmental laws and how the situation was causing grave damages to the environment with associated health and economic challenges. Generally, our findings is that um, Galamse is still uh, pervasive even within the concession, official concessions. And um, we think that for, for, for the official, uh, the companies that have concessions, the state has a responsibility to protect the concessions. And that one we must, ensure, we must go back and make sure that we mobilize you know, the forces of the state to make sure the boundaries of these concessions are protected uh, so that people can do their business. We don't want anything to go out there that in Ghana, when you acquire concession, illegal people can even invade your concession and then operate in your concession. That will reduce business confidence in our, in our country and it will affect investment, it will affect our economy uh, you know, in, in the long run. But apart from that, we, we, we are also concerned about the, uh, the lack of 
um, reclamation and restoration of degraded uh, landscapes. The Anto Abosso is host to about eight quarries and raises the concern for proper environmental management practices to safeguard lives and properties in the area.